Good morning, hot dogs. I'm Ms. Scanlon. I'm your College Connection Coach. And today I want to talk to you a little bit about taking the SAT and the ACTs. So the SAT and the ACT are two national tests that every college-bound student is going to take. Now, when you're a sophomore and junior, you take something called the PSAT. That's a practice SAT. It's really only to give you good scholarship opportunities, actually great scholarship opportunities, and to tell you how much you need to practice for the actual SAT and ACT. Now, when you're a junior, that's when you really should be taking your first test. You can do either the SAT or the ACT. You don't have to do both. But typically, it's a good idea if you have the time to do it. Some students find they score a lot better on one versus the other. Now, to sign yourself up, you go to either SAT.org or ACT.org. These tests are offered once a month on a Saturday morning throughout the school year. So you only have about you know, seven, eight chances to take it. And you do have to sign up a month before the testing date. The deadlines are a full four weeks before you test. So it can't be a last minute decision. If you're on free or reduced lunch, go to the counselors. They have a waiver that can make your first SAT or ACT completely free. Now, this test is required by most colleges, but I have good news. Ball State University just announced that they're gonna be test optional. This means they don't require a testing score. But if you're on the line for getting in or going for a more competitive program, it can still be a good idea. It can be another area they look at to say, this student would be a good fit at our campus. But still, most other colleges across the country require it, just to make sure your GPA actually reflects your knowledge. So it's really for you and the college. It's making sure you're gonna be a good fit, you'll be successful, and you have the knowledge to come in and be a great college freshman. Now, if you're a senior, college applications start being due November 1st. So if you aren't really happy with your SAT, ACT scores, there's still time to take another test before then. And I have this sheet at my table, the green table in the commons outside the cafeteria. It has your testing deadlines, your testing dates. So come on by, pick one of those up so you have them at the tip of your fingers. But, you know, otherwise, there's a ton of free study resources online. It should be testing over things you've already learned in class. So don't worry, you'll be great.